channel happy monday happy day after easter and happy dollar tree haul day so i have a dollar tree haul i just went to the dollar tree i found some new stuff um they're trying to get like the easter stuff off of the shelves and get the mother's day slash spring slash summer stuff up so i did take a lot of pictures i'll be posting them on instagram um and if you don't follow me on instagram and tiktok it's twisted gypsy 32 um i do post a lot of pictures of stuff that i don't get also my food that i eat and family pictures and stuff like that so anyway um i think i figured out something with my speaker and my sound um if I, it's something to do with my car microphone, because if I record in the house, everything sounds totally normal, but I record in my car most of the time. That's just how I roll. So it is something to do with my car. I did a little test, so I figured it out. I turned my car microphone off. We're just rolling with my phone microphone, and hopefully this will fix it. I'll just have to remember to turn my car microphone off. So anyway, I've got some goodies. Let me go ahead and and dive in um yeah they had they had a lot of stuff out um okay so it, so it looks like it's going to be a big old beach theme this year so if you are into a beach theme you've got it made personally I, because i don't live near the beach it's not that wonderful for me <laughs> i was thinking maybe i'll do a beach themed tiered tray though so i got a couple things for that but i'll probably go back because there's kind of a lot of people actually the store workers was back there stocking and i couldn't really think because i was trying to take pictures and i was wondering if they was going to get mad and stuff like that so anyway um let me fix this shirt because it's going to drive me crazy it's supposed to be an off the shoulder so i'm just going to stick it off okay guys so let me show you a couple of the things that they have so they have some of these right here which these are the board little decor perfect for your counters or like bookshelves and stuff like that so i think they're really cute this one says wish upon a starfish which this was the cutest one i thought um they don't have like borders like some of the board board decor whatever you call this baseball bat decor you know they have borders but these are just kind of plain so you know as long as you can see the front that's a good thing right okay and then they also have this nautical rope which they're just calling it decorative jute rope um i got one of these and i may get another one because i think that like on a tiered tray that is beach themed that this would look like really cute um you know instead of beads which i have beads i may do like beads on it on one and and like this nautical looking rope on one i just thought that was cute i'll have to keep my eyes open for more of their beach themed smaller items that would look good like on a tiered tray so yes before i continue let me just say i hope everyone had a wonderful easter um this is the first year that we really didn't do easter i mean i made easter bags for the kids and stuff like that but we really didn't do Easter. I made um, egg salad for dinner for the family with the Easter eggs that Jack colored. And like we didn't, we dropped off the bags. Me and my hubby went on a ride, which was wonderful. And yeah, that was our Easter, which I liked it, but I felt guilty too. So let me know if you can relate to that. Like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me show y'all this. This is cute. This is like a little coat hanger. And they had several different ones of these. I think I took pictures of all of them. But I love these little coat hangers. And you know what? They make so many different kinds that you can always you know, exchange these out in your home. Like if you have a certain place that you have one hanging, you can always switch it up, you know, to whatever your decor is. So I just thought that one was cute. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, these right here, the um, do dollar, what are these? Sand dollars. The sand, they just list them as decor, but we all know these are sand dollars. This would be great for the tiered tray. This is one of those things 
that would just be awesome. You get three big sand dollars for a dollar twenty-five, which I think this is a good deal. You go to a beach shop down at the beach and try to buy a uh, sand dollar and see how much you pay. I guarantee it's more than a dollar twenty-five, right? Yes. So, yeah. And then this. Okay, so I do not see where this right here relates to the beach. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy, but they had it right in the midst of all the beach stuff. I don't know, am I crazy? Like, how does this little bird relate to the beach? They also had these in pink and white, I believe, but I got this one just because the beach stuff that I got is kind of, you know, has the teal blue colors. But is this a beach bird? Like, it's, I know it's not like a um, seagull or anything like that. But is this something? Uh, I don't know. Like, I have no idea. But if you know how this relates to the beach, let me know. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be over there. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. So, okay. I grabbed it. I grabbed it. I have my receipt here. If you guys need my fetch referral code, please let me know. I'll send it to you and it'll be in the description box. Okay, so this is a bag of food stuff. So this might be a little boro, but I did find a couple of new items. So first off, these are not new. These are the plant-based protein. This is the Loma Linda, I guess. That confuses me every single time. Um, this is the Hawaiian Bowl. My son loves these, and honestly, I bet these are really good. This would be really good, like, next time that we had, um, what did we have? We had orange chicken one day, and this would be really good as the rice to that orange chicken, I bet. It just says it has pineapple and brown rice. I do see peas and carrots and stuff, but my son loves these, so I went ahead and got them because I'm like, $1.25 for a lunch or, you know, whatever is not a bad deal. So I grabbed those, and then I did grab two more of these, definitely a repurchase. He eats these up and just eats them out of the bag, so... I just grabbed two more because he loves them. And I don't know how long they're going to keep those in stock. Um, it's good until, what does that say? August of 2022. So they'll probably have them up until around that time. So I grabbed those. And then um, I got these for my hubby. It's just the cars. Um, this is just the sweet and salty mix. So this has like raisins, I see peanuts, I see sunflower seeds, M&Ms, or the equivalent, I guess. But he's, he's, he loves those, so I thought I'd grab those. And here are the new things that I found. Um, these remind me of those, um, oh darn, I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about if you see these. It's in the same type can and everything. So these are called Corinthians. How cute is that? So flavored cream wafer rolls. They have three different kinds that I could find. I'm surprised they didn't have a blue can that was vanilla, but they didn't. So these are the chocolate ones, and I guess they have chocolate cream in the middle. So I bet these would be the best, honestly. And then they had strawberry, which I'm guessing strawberry cream. It doesn't really say, but these are just, you know, uh, the other thing, they start with a P. I can't remember. <laughs> and then this one right here is chocolate hazelnut. So I bet that would be good too, though. Um, here, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I don't know. And then I just grabbed this for my son. Um, he's a smoker. This, I'm just trying to keep him from stealing my candle lighters. Because he will. Like, he stole my last one. So I had to buy me another one. Um, and then this, I just grabbed some of this Frank's Red Hot Sauce. A lot of times when I'm having, like, scrambled eggs or something, or anything. Like, I love hot sauce. And I love Frank's hot sauce the best. It's always been my favorite. I know Texas Pete is a big flavor or is a big um, name brand, but I love Frank's. Like I just have, it's, I think it's like probably 
one of the um, best ones for keto, not that I'm doing keto, but sometimes I do try to do low carb. So Frank's has always, you know, been a good one for that. Okay, let's see what else we have. Um, I was thinking they might have some new, um, like, more makeup y Mother's Day ish stuff out. They had some stuff, but not a ton of it. Um, first off, let me show y'all these. Um, I've made my menus for the week, and I think I'm going to be posting more content over on my other channel, Gypsy's Omad Life. I did roll off the wagon really hard there for a little while, but I am back on now, more hardcore than ever, and I was trying to wait till I got down to the weight that I was when I rolled off the wagon, and um, I just thought I would just forget that and just go ahead and post over there. So I'll probably be doing my, my recipes and my menus and stuff like that, my grocery hauls over there. So if you're not following me on Gypsy's Omad Life, you will find more content over there. I'll link that down below in the description box. But anyway, this is for, it's called Santa Fe Chopped Chicken Salad. I've been looking up like a lot of recipes on Pinterest and stuff like that. And I'm just going to be making like everybody their own individual bowls of salad. Um, and then that, these make for easy cleanup as well. So anyway, I grabbed two of these. You get three each. I remember back in the good old days, you used to get four in here. But now it's only three. But that's okay. I'm happy with three. It's better than none, right? <laughs> and then um, this right here, I got this because... This evening, I'm going through all of my bags, and I'm going to be gathering the stuff for the 17K giveaway. So, that is definitely coming very shortly. I definitely have big plans this evening to get everything together. I may take pictures and put on Instagram of, of stuff, you know, but... Um, yeah, so keep keep watching for that. Don't give up on me on that. Um, this is the carton sealing tape, which is really good because it has those like little fibers in there, and the fibers kind of make it easier. Like number one, if you lose your place, those fibers because it's a little bit thicker make it easier to find. And then um, I wish I would have got two of these. This is from the brand Tape It. Um, because, you know, I'm always needing this stuff, and if you get the jock kind and you lose the end, it's like an act of Congress trying to get those back, get the end back. So anyway, I grabbed that. That's coming up, guys. Promise. Promise. Okay. Um, and then this is something I thought was kind of cool. It's from that EAD brand, which, you know, it's not like a big name brand but I love the packaging on this I love the way it looks and my guys love body wash and they love to smell good so that's one good thing um, this is EAD this is deodorant body spray in the scent destroy I'm gonna smell this let me just say I finally can taste my dinner for the past was it this last night last night maybe the night before I could actually taste dinner whenever I ate it which uh, eating and not being able to taste it guys was it just felt wrong you know to be eating all those calories and not even be able to taste them it's ridiculous but let me let me smell this destroy oh yes Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. And, and like I said, the packaging is really cool. So they had that, and then they had this right here. This is called Brisk. This is Body Wash. Now they had a lot of these, but like every single one that I saw had like dried body wash on it. Like one of them might have spilled in the package or the carton, and it was just absolutely ridiculous. I dug until I found one that wasn't like that. So let's see. It smells good. My sense of smell is not what it needs to be yet, but it's improving every single day, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, but this does smell good, and I'm pretty sure it's green if I can um, remember. Like, the, there was green on all of the other ones. So, anyway, these two things would be really cute, like, if you're doing, like, a men's, um, maybe Father's Day coming up, or you want to do, like, a men's like themed basket or something. I love that they match. And this is definitely new. I had never seen that before. So, yes. And then, 
I thought these were really cute, guys. I absolutely love these. So, yeah, okay. So, hold on one second. Okay, so I was looking through the puzzle section, and I saw one that I really liked, and I'm like, let me just take a picture and not buy it since I have like 1,437 puzzles that I still need to work. So I took a picture of it and I was all proud. And then I saw these and this is new and I've never seen this before. Okay. So this is called you and me puzzles. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse. So this is two different puzzles and there's one for the parent or the adult and one for the little kid so this one is a hundred pieces and this one is 250 pieces and i'm sure that they are in different i'm just gonna look just out of curiosity make sure they're in different bags because if they weren't that'd be a little crazy wouldn't it okay they are okay Whew. but let me just say oh mg look how little these pieces are can you see that these pieces are tiny. Wow. This has to be the moms or the adults. Yeah, and here's the kids. Look. Oh, my God. Uh, they, they, theirs looks a little better than mine, but, um, woo. I better have my reading glasses on at the time. But anyway, I just thought those were cute, and maybe it will kind of get me, you know, I, I feel like, once I work one puzzle, I'm going to get kind of addicted. So as soon as I get done with my show that I'm watching, which I'll tell you in a second what that is, um, I'm going to start in on puzzles. Okay, so my kitchen table is totally clear. There's nothing stopping me. So anyway, I love the adult one of the Red Riding Hood. Can you see that? That's really cool. I love that. And then they had this one, which I think is really cute. Um, so it's the dolphins, you know, you got the little kid dolphins. And then look at the, the, the parent or the adult version. I don't even know what to call this. The adult version of that. How cool is that? That's a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous one. So anyway, I just thought that would be fun with Jack. And then the movie or the show that I'm watching right now, um, it's a little risque. So I hope no one takes offense, but it's Sex of the City. So I had never watched it before, just like Game of Thrones, which was very risque as well. Sex and the City, um, I've, been, I've been watching that from the very beginning. And uh, yeah, so I've been watching. But anyway, speaking of that, the only reason why I brought that up is on one of the episodes, they were in the Middle East and they were eating dates and they were talking about how wonderful they were. And like, I've always been put off by dates. I don't know. Like, I've e I even hauled some of these for my son not long ago. And I was talking about, ew, like I'm never touching them. Well, they were eating them on the show. And I'm like, I need some dates, you know? So, boom, here we go. I got some. I'm going to wait until my um, taste is back full-blown before I try them. Because I don't want to try them and not be able to taste them good. And then feel like, oh, I don't like them. You know, because maybe I will like them. So, anyway, dates. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's funny the things that make us buy stuff, right? Like, it's just funny. Okay, let's dig on in another bag. What else do I have? Okay, let's save the best bag for last. So that means I'm going to show you all this one right now. So number one, I forgot my coffee at home because, like, I'm trying to drink, you know, my black coffee and my water all day. So I forgot my coffee. Bummer. But I just got me a water. So I'm like, okay, I'll drink more water today. Um, and then these, this is something I have never seen as far as Bang Energy goes, guys. So these are Bang Energy Vus. What is that? It's, okay, Ra Raging Raspberry Hibiscus Vus Hydration Sensation. And this one's Blue Raz Vus. What is Vus? Like, I, how come I've never seen these? I used to be totally uh, addicted to these. I don't really, I don't really understand what Vuz is and what makes these different. There's zero calories. Oh no, 10 calories, zero carbs, which is usually, you know, all that I really care about. 
but like, I don't know. I don't know what, what booze is. Like, why is it just not regular bang energy? Hydration sensation. I don't know. Maybe it's kind of better for you than the bang, than the regular bangs. I don't know. So I grab those and then I grab this for my hubby. This is just one of the Donald Duck orange, or no, Donald Duck grape juices. I'm going to get this nice and cold in the fridge and break it out later. And then, <laughs> let me tell you a funny story. They had, they have this eyeglass cleaner, which I have bought before. You know, this is really good stuff. It works great cleaning eyeglasses, sunglasses, even phone case or phones and tablets and you know, whatever, but it works great. So last night, my hubby gave my son what I thought was this, um, but it turned out it was deodorant room spray. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, that's what I clean my glasses with. I'm like, that's not glasses cleaner. So they've been using room spray to clean their glasses. So I'm like, I better get some glasses cleaner. So this stuff usually goes quite a long way. You know, it's in the pump bottle. It's good stuff. So I t highly recommend this. So boom. I was thinking I should save stuff to do an empties video. That is something that I have never done on my channel is an empties video. Let me know if you're interested in that. Like, I know some people love that, but like, I've never really been one to watch empties videos. So that's probably why I haven't done one. So let me know if it's something you're interested in or not, because like, I don't want to waste my time doing one and saving stuff. If it's, you know, if you're not interested, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, okay. I gotta show y'all something at the end of this video, which something about fetch. It's cool, I, I think. <laughs> anyway, I found these socks, guys. So this is a, let's see here. This is a name brand, but I don't know what brand. Hold on. Let me see. I'm trying to see like what Therapy Plus is the brand. It looks like it has a sticker over there might be a price under here. I can't, it's not, it's not peeling off right, of course, but this is called Therapy Plus, and these are non-binding socks, so like people with diabetes or whatevs, um, it says ideal for symptoms of diabetes. They have cushioned soles, smooth toe seams, and they wick moisture away. So I like to wear stuff like this, honestly, under my boots. I've got boots on now because it's 41 degrees, and I don't know what happened to that gorgeous day we had yesterday, but it's gone. 41 degrees, so I've got boots on. I love wearing boots, and I love, you know, comfy socks under my boots. So I thought I would grab these. These are men's size 7 to 12 so i'm pretty sure they're going to fit you know that's a pretty good size sock so you only get one of these okay so then they also have these right here and these are same size 7 to 12 these are non-binding men's work socks so these are a little bit thicker i guess for work socks and I love that, you know, that they are men's. They're a bigger size, so I'm pretty sure they're going to fit my calves. So I think that would feel really good under a pair of boots like I have on now. Like, that's up to my knees. So anyway, grab those. And then I grabbed this pair, or this pack, actually. You get three pairs in here. So this is the Therapy Plus as well, men's quarter socks, odor-resistant, Cushion sole, comfort toe, non-binding, um, size 7 to 12 again. So, anyway, I thought, yes, I'll take those. So, because I like a good comfy sock, especially if I have a boot on, which I wear boots a lot. So, yes, I had to grab those. And then, uh, speaking of socks, I got me another pair of these because this is the Juncture Men's Compression Socks in sizes 6 to 12. I bought me two pairs of these, I don't know, a couple months ago, I guess, just to see. They fit my calves all the way up, and they feel absolutely fantabulous. Usually, when I wear the boots that I have on, I wear these, but honestly, I forgot about them today. But they feel so fantastic. Like, I love them so much. So, that, that is really the first time that I had ever worn a compression sock. And I'm like, yes, I love this. So they just feel 
energizing or something. I don't know. They feel wonderful. So anyway, um, I just went ahead and grabbed me another pair because I don't know how long like they're going to have these and I love them. So yes. And then I just needed some gallon size bags. So they had the Glad. This is the bonus size. So you actually get nine in here. These are the freezer bags. So if I am going to um, put something in a bag to freeze it, I would rather it be like a name brand. Even if you buy these right here, um, which are the SureFresh, even if they say freezer bags, I'm still not 100% comfortable with it. So anyway, I grabbed these Glad for freezer bags. And then I grabbed these right here. You actually get 13 bags. And these are just the regular zip top storage bags. So I just need these sometimes. And, you know, there's so many uses throughout life for a daggone gallon Ziploc bag. And every time I go to get one, it seems like, oh, I'm out. So, okay. So, anyway, they had some cute ribbon. Let me just say, guys, OMG, they have a um, new dishes set. Oh, my gosh. Fifi is going to flip. It's bees. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm going to be putting pictures over on Instagram. You have to check them out. I was floored. It makes me want to throw away everything I have and just buy those. They are fantabulous. I cannot wait to send her pictures, but they're bees. They're absolutely stunning. They're, they're great. You know, bees are all the rage. Bees are all the rage right now. So anyway, speaking of bees, that's what made me think of bees. I saw this beautiful farmhouse ribbon in bees. How cute. I think she should make a wreath, like a wreath with bees. Look at that. Aren't they cute? And then this one right here, I could not pass up. It's the barn. It's the roosters. It's the cow. It's like everything that my kitchen is. Like, so, like, I don't know what I could make to go in my kitchen with this ribbon. But I got to think of something because I could not pass that ribbon up. Totally. And then um, I ended up getting these magnets because... I love these. I really am unsure as to where whether they stick really good, though. My refrigerator, uh, they might stick better on a regular refrigerator or maybe the side of a microwave even. But my refrigerator is like textured. I guess it's just to make it for easier cleaning. I don't know. It's textured. So magnets don't stick quite as good as they should. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet um but these are just so cute they just they just remind me of like 80s retro stuff like anything holographic so brightly colored i just love them so i just grabbed those and i just thought they were cute but these are here are my faves it has the donut and the coffee cup and the cupcake and it just says sweet and i just thought these were super cute and I remember a way back, like right after I started my channel, they had some, like they had like different than that, but like the same, you know, same kind, same kind, like on the card, you got to kind of punch them out and all that. Let me crack my window because I'm getting a hot flash. Okay. So I found these barrettes and you guys know how I feel about my stars. wonder how they would look like with this hairdo, like. I don't know. I think they might look kind of cute. Let me put one in just to see. I'll probably regret it, but let's just see because I love these stars. Uh, if you can see up close, check them out. They're little pearls. By the way, look at my ring. This is a leather ring, a handmade leather ring. My hubby bought me this yesterday when we went riding around. We stopped at this little gift shop and I'm like, look at this leather ring. And so he got it for me. I love it. I just love it because it's so unique. Okay, so I'm going to try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Come on. If you put too much hair, it's never going to stay. Like with these little cheapies. So I probably put too much hair just now. Let me try it again. I won't torture you forever with this. Just a little bit of hair. Just enough to hold it, right? Boom. How's that? One on each side. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it just because. 
And then I got a couple more items that I found to show you guys that I'm excited about. But yeah, I got two because I'm like, yeah, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna wear them, you might as well get one for each side, right? I still have to go in a store, so I hope they're not too ridiculous looking. Okay. I think they're kind of cute, honestly. What do y'all think? What do you think? Are they ridiculous? Are they cute? I don't know. I love the stars. I think they're cute, so I'm going to wear them. I'm going to go to Walmart with them on, so I might be crazy. I don't know. We'll see. If people point and laughs, I'll know I'm crazy, okay? Um, I got this right here. This is one of the April Bath and Shower Body Scrubber. I just thought this looked interesting. It says squeeze body wash onto the scrubber and move in a circular motion to cleanse the body. And I'm just wondering if it's going to have like any kind of exfoliating thing. You know, I guess if you put exfoliating body wash, it would, right? But I just wanted to give this a whirl, girls. Let's see. Let's take it out and look at it. So it feels cool. I know they make these that's kind of like for dishes and stuff, but I like the, the holder here. So, you know, you can hold it good and just kind of scrub. But the middle, um, if you can see, this is more scrubbier. Like this is, this, this feels a lot easier, you know, um, gentler. This is like got some scrub to it. And then we have this one. So I just think this will be, you know, just kind of fun to play around with in the shower, give her a whirl. And this was the only color that I saw. So I grabbed that color. And then last but not least guys, I found some makeup. Yes. Um, I found this. I had not seen these yet. So these are going to go into the 17k giveaway guys which like i said i'm gathering up that stuff this evening so check these out so i got three one for me two for the giveaway aren't these cute look at that i'm gonna try one out we're gonna see like what the pigmentation is so it says color made easy it actually tells you highlight contour and then the last one lid okay highlight contour and lid this is the f See, what was that? I can't remember. Hold on, here we go. Femme Couture. Yes, the Femme Couture. Yeah, I love those. So let's see what we got here. Let's just give her a whirl and see what kind of how how, how pigmented it is. Let me go ahead and roll that up. Let me get it open. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, let's try this out. So, there it is, like without the glare. So, let's do the dark, or the, it's not dark, but just the brown one. Oh, I think that's going to be pretty. Okay. So, that's, this is the bottom one. Nice. Nice color. And then we have the pinkish looking. And then we have the highlighter. I think it would take a couple layers of that highlighter to really get, because I'm like, whenever I get my makeup on, like I'm in highlighting mode for those inner corners and stuff. So like I would probably put a couple of, um, you know, extra highlighting swipes on there, but that's really pretty colors. I really like those. Very, very pretty. So, yeah, I'm excited to do that. And don't forget, I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I think this sickness has just kind of stalled everything in my life right now. So, don't give up on me, okay? I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm back on track. So, you'll be seeing, like, the regular Dollar Tree hauls, the get ready with me, the giveaways, the other stuff. I know I have um, a box that I want to show you. Um, hold on. A Mindful Souls box. Hold on a minute. I would just pull up and just like park like that. Just get, get, get out. Okay, anyway, this is something that I used some of my fetch points for, which I'm super excited. I want to show y'all this. So let me get this open really quick. I think it shouldn't take me long. And I'm glad it really came fast. Like I just ordered this last week. It was last week, which is, it's pretty fast. 
So, I couldn't resist when I saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to have that. So, is that here? Wait a minute. Oh, this is the wrong box. Hold on. Dag nabbit, that's not the right box. Hold on, bear with me. This is it. Look, it even says fetch. I could not resist, okay? Yes, it came fast. Oh, it's all nicely wrapped. Look at that. How great. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse. And this is something new that they're doing because I never saw that. And like I went to, to look and to scan some receipts and I'm like, what? So look at this. Check it out. I love this. Look at that. And they also had another one, which was black, I think, with green writing, possibly. But this one is the one. The other one said, oh, snap, because you snap your receipts. But this one right here, I loved it. It has the fetch dog on it, the name fetch on it. So I was like, I need that. I totally need that. This was 20,000 points, I believe, uh, which was kind of a lot, but I'm like, you know what? I need that. I absolutely love it. This is a women's size 2X, I believe. Yes. No? Yes. 2X. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you all this. How cute is this? So, anyway, yeah, that's what I spent my points on. So, yeah, I've been saving for a while. But anyway, uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I'm, I'm not sure what side it's on. Like, I think it's here. Make sure you're subscribed. Sometimes when you're subscribed to channels, for some reason, you get unsubscribed. I don't know how that works or why. Make sure you're still subscribed and keep watching for that 17K. Like I said, I'm digging stuff out this evening. I got a plan. I'm doing it and it's going to be great. So that's definitely coming very soon. And you have to be my subscriber in order to be my winner. So there will be two winners definitely coming up. Let me know what your favorite item from today is. And that's all for now, guys. So until next time, guys. Bye.